A devastating outcome to a U.S. mission. Two Al Qaeda hostages accidentally killed by an American drone strike, and that includes Warren Weinstein of Rockville. Richard Reeve is live with how he's being remembered tonight. Richard? Outside the Weinstein home, a growing memorial. Everybody's heartbroken, I'm sure. This, this is just a, such a tragic ending to it. The ribbons on nearly every tree along Brad Drive. The sad world we're living those days. Long a symbol of hope that Warren Weinstein might someday be freed. Now the sad news, he had been killed in a drone strike this past January. Obviously a terrible tragedy. It was sad. Andy Brill. Among those wondering if more or better intelligence might have revealed that Weinstein was being held at that Al Qaeda compound. We have the intelligence community with some misinformation. It's just, uh, it's hard to wrap your head around. Weinstein, who was 73, was kidnapped in August 2011 from his house in Pakistan, taken by Al Qaeda operatives just four days before the end of a seven year assignment as an aid worker. It's painful. Every day. Just last June, Elaine Weinstein spoke about the agony of waiting and of her husband's work. I just want people to know he was over there doing good work. So much hope among those yellow ribbons now dashed. Now for it to end this way uh, is, is, is tragic and horrifying. That was Richard Reeve reporting. Now, President Obama says he takes responsibility for all counterterrorism operations. And to the families of those killed, he offered condolences. I profoundly regret what happened. On behalf of the United States government, I offer our deepest apologies to the families. A U.S. official says the president did not specifically approve this operation, but that the strikes were within the bounds of policy guidance.